Deep within the heart of Cambodia lies a story of strength, resilience, and survival. This is the history of Bokator, Cambodia's ancient martial art. Bokator, translating to pounding a lion, is one of the oldest martial arts in the world. Dating back to the great Khmer Empire, this art form is more than fighting. It's a symbol of the Cambodian spirit. Bokator is unique, imitating animals and elements of nature. Angkorian people believe that it developed from killing tigers and many techniques spread through the country. There are three main elements. Each element contains many techniques, strategies, body positions, guards, and movements that are all completely different. Bokator is a complete martial art, which includes striking, grappling, ground fighting, and using weapons for both offensive and defensive purposes. Bokator was a warrior's art, one that was integral in building the empire. Ancient carvings in temples like Angkor Wat depict its significance, showing fighters in combat a testament to its age and importance. But history wasn't always kind to Bokator. During the dark period of the Khmer Rogue between 1975 to 1979, and then the Vietnamese occupation, Bokator practitioners were targeted and persecuted. Their skills were seen as a threat, and many practitioners were killed, or had to leave in exile, or had to stop teaching to survive. The resilience of the Khmer spirit, however, could not be stopped. Surviving masters emerged from the shadows after 30 years of occupation, determined to revive the art. Today, Bokator's experience a renaissance. A new generation is embracing its heritage, with schools teaching Bokator not just as a martial art, but as a symbol of national identity and pride. From its ancient origins to its near extinction and its spirited revival, Bokator's journey is a testament to the enduring strength and resilience of the Cambodian people.